Hey guys, it is a week before I leave for the- Are you kidding me? <laughs> it is a week before we leave for the beach. Um, and I want to show you guys what I got to- Some of the stuff I got this week for the beach. The thing I got was my tanning oil. Um, Hawaiian Tropic. I'm sorry, my dog is just being a brat and wanting to be super loud right now. So, <laughs> sorry. So, Hawaiian Tropic tanning oil, uh, SPF 6, and it's the spray. Which I like the sprays better, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Um, and then this is for me, because I no normally don't burn, but it's July, it's hot. And so I want to just make sure I don't burn for the first time ever because I've heard it sucks. So don't want to do that. This is for Jeremy because he burns like a motherfucker. So that's be a 50 for him. And then dry shampoo because it's the beach and like I don't want to overwash my hair, but my hair is going to probably get disgusting. So yeah. And tomorrow, I'm going swimsuit shopping, so I'll show you guys that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm either swimsuit shopping or I'll show you guys my swimsuits. Okay, I just got back from shopping. I'm gonna show you guys the swimsuit that I got, that I ended up getting. Okay, I ended up getting this swimsuit and i got these bottoms because it can match this top too because i've had this for a while and then i got this swimsuit then um yeah look at our awesome comforter that somebody in his fam jeremy's family gave us cool right okay very summery so tj maxx righty got these cover-up pants they were on clearance for $15, yeah, $15. They're super soft and flowy. I'm really excited to wear them. And then to go with it, we didn't have any cover-up shirts. I work at our local TJ Maxx, so that's why I said we. Um, and so I did this. I got this. So to go with this. So I thought that would be kind of cute to go with that. Whenever I'm trying to cover up my shit. Okay, well, I'll see you guys next Friday when I show you guys our snacks and pack. Hello. Um, I'm about to start. I say about to. Um, hold on. Turn on some lights, make it a little bit. Oh, that's better. Okay, let me try that again. Hello. Um, it is Wednesday, July 24th. I have three days till I leave for the beach, but I really have only today to start packing a lot of our stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be vlogging, vlogging, showing, showing you guys like packing because I thought that would be cool to show you guys. Okay. So normally Jeremy and I share a suitcase, but this time we're not because we're gone for 12 days and I want us to be able to just have our own separate stuff so we're not all just like rummaging through each other's suitcases and stuff so okay mine Jeremy's I've literally had this suitcase like this like this since I was like 10 or younger so that's fun okay so now I'm gonna like find our stuff, find our outfits and put them together and then start packing from then. Because some of it is still in the laundry, so I'm gonna have to wait for some of it to like wash and dry and whatnot. But we'll see. Okay. So I'll see you guys once I have all of that put together. Okay, so I found most of our shorts and the rest are in the wash, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the shorts. Okay, so here's my shorts laid out, here's Jeremy's shorts. He has like 
four different pairs of black shorts so and then so I put us each a nicer pair of shorts because like you never know when we need to go out somewhere so I put myself a pair of jean shorts and put himself put himself put him his vineyard vines shorts so that works hey you guys are sitting on a pillow so I need to set out a pair of these probably just be the ones that I'm just washing but I need to set out a pair of shorts and stuff for like the travel day sorry i'm like i have like a thousand things going on these are mine actually whoops <laughs> and stuff which I've already kind of pulled some of mine his I haven't really um started with yet sorry Jared but my stuff is just like really easy to find his I don't think he has a way he puts up his clothes so like a specific way so that's fun so I'm packing a nicer shirt, you know, because why not? You need a nicer shirt. It's kind of beachy looking anyways, so. Um, I'm bringing this little crop top. Bringing lots of crop tops. Um, I'm bringing one long sleeve shirt just because you never know. It's a crop top, so, but it's still a form of long sleeves that I'm bringing with me because you literally cannot fucking trust anything. You think it's going to be 80 degrees outside and you walk out one morning and it's 60 and you're like, fuck, it's cold. I need a long sleeve shirt, but whatever. And then, you know, just, just some basics. Got our basics going. This the more I look at it, the more I'm like, I have to bring this to the beach because it's giving me like sailor vibes, so. Oh, wow, I still need like four more shirts. Fine, okay, well, I'll be back whenever I have my four short shirts and Jeremy's eight. It is many, many, many hours later, and I am still exactly where I left off packing because my dryer just now finished drying the first load of laundry that I put in this morning, like early at seven o'clock this morning. Last time you guys saw me, it was like seven, eight a.m. Now it's like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm nowhere near done packing. Love that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I still have one more load of laundry that has to finish before I can fully say I'm done because there's a couple of pairs of shorts and stuff that I missed that is in there. So yeah, uh, wish me luck. I'll finish packing at some point today and I'll try and film it. If not, I'll see you guys on Thursday. I'll either see you guys later or I'll see, not Thursday, Friday. I'll see you guys on Friday or a little bit later today. We'll see. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Friday. Socks is in my groceries. Can you not? Can you not get in my groceries? Can you not? 
I'm really sad because she can't go with us to the beach because she has really bad like car anxiety and gets sick every time she gets in the car. So we're just gonna take her 30 minutes away to Jeremy's mom's while we're gone. But I'm really sad because we have to take her tonight because we're leaving so early in the morning. We don't want to deal with it. So I'm really sad because we're about to take her in like an hour and I just, I don't want to, but I, we have to. <sighs> but I'm gonna show you guys what I got today for snacks um, and such at the store. Okay. So first we're gonna start off TJ Maxx. I found these shot glasses. They're friends shot glasses. Um, they have friends sayings on them. Friends is my favorite show. If you guys saw our last video, you would know that Friends is my favorite show. Um, then I got these butter cookies, these Campbell's shortbread butter cookies. Then I got Dolce de Leche um, wafer snacks. These are fire. He's never tried them. And then for Jeremy, he loves Stroop Waffles, so I got him some caramel Stroop Waffles. Next is Walmart, which we have four bags from Walmart. So we got a bag of Takis, just a regular size bag. Then for me, I got a little thing of nacho, spicy nacho Doritos, and for Jeremy, the ranch. Then I got us some Tender Bites, teriyaki flavored, and then some Sour Patch Kids. I was gonna get us a smaller bag, but then I was like, we have a big bag, so let's go with the big bag. Um, and then, this isn't food, but I did get this because our suite supposedly has a jacuzzi tub, according to Jeremy. So, to go with our jacuzzi tub, I got some bath with Epsom salts because I have a horrible back and it also has coconut oil in it because we're going to be out in like the sun and stuff and this is going to be really good for our skin after we've been out in the sun all day um and then Epsom salt because I have a terrible back and you know it's good to just relax and then all and then I got two of these just muscle ache and pain bath salt so I'm excited to try that out in our Jetted tub, and then our last bag is our drinks for tomorrow. I got us each one of these Minute Maid berry punches, and then this is my favorite. If you guys haven't tried this, try it. It's the salted dark chocolate. Wow, that's not focusing. Salted dark chocolate um, frappuccino, and it has a hint of cold brew in it. Starbucks's cold brew is my favorite thing and that's my favorite like drink to just go out and buy if I'm not at Starbucks and then I saw that Starbucks had this cold brew and it's cocoa and honey with cream already in it so I'm really really excited to try that and I believe yeah that is all I got for the groceries so I'm gonna pack the stuff I still have to finish packing the rest of our actual stuff um, and then we have to take socks at some point we have to eat dinner I have to stop and get another vape juice because I'm gonna need that before we go and then I also have to come home gonna fix my hair because right now it's faded and pink and like lavender purple and it's supposed to be vibrant purple and red so that's fun that I have to go and fix that tonight before I go um and then take a shower go to bed and then we're waking up at three in the morning and so I will see you guys at three o'clock in the morning tonight I guess so yeah I'll see you guys when I wake up or maybe any other time. I'm not really sure when I'm gonna see you guys, but nine times out of 10, the next time you see me, it'll be 3 a.m. I'm so excited. I just cannot contain my excitement to go to the beach. This is like my first real time to go to the beach. I went once when I was really little to Long Island Beach, and that's not even a beach, that's just a fucking 
bay with pebbles basically um and then i went once in spring break um when i was in sixth grade um and it was so cold and rainy that we didn't get to enjoy it and then i went at the end of may early june of my freshman year but i went with family and everyone that went was like middle-aged or older um and so they wanted to go out like but before like noon and i had the only other person that was young that was with us was my cousin and his girlfriend at the time and if i was hanging out with them i'd be third wheeling the whole time so i didn't want to be doing that so I didn't really get to enjoy it as much that time. So this time I actually get to go and enjoy it. And I'm so glad that I get to bring you guys along. I'm like, I'm, this is gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. Okay, so I realized I fucking forgot a bag. So I got mini mentecadas. I think that's how you say it, mentecadas. If I'm wrong, somebody please correct me, but I'm pretty, I'm like 98% sure it's mentecadas, but. I could be wrong. Um, and then last but not least, Pringles. Okay, so yeah, now that's it. Now I'll see you guys at 3 in the morning. I know I said I would see you guys at 3 a.m., but I forgot that I would show you guys us taking Socko. Um, yeah, she doesn't like the car at all, like at all. That's why she's just like chilling over here. I have her buckled up because that normally like, oh move her around like she doesn't like moving that much so um yeah I'm sad but I'm gonna think of it as her own little vacation so so yeah I'm sitting back here and Jeremy's gonna drive um I have bags in case she starts to throw up and I can catch it in a bag so that's fun um yeah, I'm really sad, but I think she'll be okay. It's a long time. I think it's the longest we've ever gone without being with her, but I think she'll I think she'll be okay. I hope so. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. Hey guys, it's 3.45 in the morning. Um, I have a feeling we're not leaving till like between four and five. Jeremy was like, we'll just wake up whenever and see whenever we feel like waking up between 3 a.m. But we're not gonna leave later than five. So, yeah. Um, I woke up just kind of like abruptly kind of feeling like we overslept and I was like Jeremy it's like three o'clock and he was like we can just sleep some more I tried to lay down and then I couldn't sleep anymore I mean I could but like I couldn't I don't know before I go on trips and stuff I get really really bad like trip anxiety it gets really really bad if I have to get on a plane but like I don't know I have really bad like trip like vacation anxiety like not vacation anxiety just like travel anxiety because of like traumatic experiences I've had traveling when I was a kid so I can't help but get like a little bit overworked before I go I've gotten a lot better with my travel anxiety but I didn't even expect to have any this time, but I'm having a little bit of it because we're fucking driving, so why would I have travel anxiety, right? Who cares? I don't know. So I woke up and decided to just, like, wake up and get over it and let myself calm down for a little bit. It's weird not having socks here, I'm just gonna say that. It was so weird coming home last night and, like... We were eating dinner and I dropped like a small little piece of food on the floor and I almost said, come here socks. And I couldn't, so I just picked it up and threw it away and was like, oh well, fuck. We're probably gonna head out within the next hour or so. 
Um, we have everything basically packed. We just have to put in, um, we have to pack like a blanket and a pillow just to like have, you know, and the rest of our like toiletries and like shower stuff. Um, I was waiting for like our shampoo and conditioner to like dry off before I put it in my suitcase because I don't want it to get gross or anything else in the suitcase to get gross so that's fun and I think after that we can just like load in the car leave go get ice and gas and then be on our merry way so I'll see you guys when we start actually moving around and trying to get together and stuff um and then I'll definitely see you guys when we start to get ready to leave time with that Honestly, yeah, that hurt no, it didn't. yeah it did <laughs> I felt that good morning I've been up for a few hours Jeremy just woke up it is um he took his phone I don't know what time it is it's like 9 30 
maybe-ish, 9.30-ish in the morning. And here in a little bit, we're about to get ready to go to the beach. Um, I'm excited. I'm about to start packing up our mess that we've already made. And we have to go to Walmart for something before we go. And then we'll go around 11, I think is what his dad said, so. Yeah, we've got like an hour and a half until we've gotta go. And then we're driving like two and a half hours and then we'll be there. This is crazy. What the fuck? At a fucking gas station. At a fucking random gas station. At a random BP gas station. In the middle of Clayton, North Carolina. Not even the middle, the outskirts. Just the outskirts, yeah. What does fucking do? This is Monday morning, your average. Look how tiny. There's a peanut in it? What? Not these? No. Not a peanut in these? No. They're just like hot, fiery balls. Good. I wish we could find these at home. They're not too spicy. Mm -mm. They're good though. They have a little bit of kick to them. They're like tiny hot Cheeto balls. Like the big jars the of big ones? Cheeto balls. These are good. Ten out of ten. officially made it to our condo um this I've realized that this beach vlog is gonna be multiple parts so I'm gonna end this part of the beach vlog here thank you guys for watching please subscribe give this video a big thumbs up comment anything you'd like to comment tell me about your summer um, and I will see you guys in the next part or two of this vlog series.